I mentioned, I mentioned uh, Friday, it's Vince Vaughn, Jolene Blaylock, and the music of Sparkle Horse. Tomorrow, the music of Craig David, an actress named Ivana Milicevic, and an actor by the name of John Travolta. Uh, our first guest in, is an Oscar-winning actress and one of the most beautiful women around. She appears regularly on the hit drama The West Wing. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Marley Matlin! Interpreter, I'm mean, introducing Jack. Interpreter Jack. Her interpreter, Jack. Jack has got a new haircut. He looks good. By the way. What's that? Jack is well lit, I, by, I, the I, I, by the way. By the way, in case you're wondering. Yeah. And in case you're wondering out there, mm -hmm. I like the dicky. Oh, the. Yeah. Actually, hey. actually, I love the dicky. All right. Even better, I worship, worship the dicky. Really opening up. You, you, always, you always open up so much when you're here. So, are you really that mad at? I, I'm a ham. Yeah. Ham. H a m m. Right. Ham. ham. Very close. I love this. Thank you. I, I apologize. Oh, and don't worry I about was it. going to do a formal apology don't in the news. No, I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. It doesn't matter because Wayne Newton sent that to me, and then I just thought I'd send it to you. Ah. She's too quick. She's too quick. I apologize. And I've gotten you. Here's your. Oh I purchased a <laughs> happy birthday for you. This is the birthday gift. Go ahead and open that puppy Can up. Open it? Yeah. Need some help there? Better be expensive. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Oh, my lordy. Can you get a shot of that? That's what we have with the hams. We have bratwurst and original, original Craig. That's, a, that's my own beer. These are bratwurst. This is bratwurst and sauerkraut. This is what I had growing up. Isn't that nice? Yes. Okay. And by the way, very expensive. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now you actually had, seriously, you had a good time when you were here last time, right? Mm hmm. Huh? Yeah, good. I mean, I, yeah. Obviously, I if you... I had a great time, actually. Thank you. And thank you for complimenting me um, uh, that we had a good time. You were on the radio, and I heard that. What's the name of that program, Kevin and Bean? Yeah, I heard you on the radio, and you were great. I, 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 I heard you on the radio while I was driving the car on the 405, and I was listening to the radio, and I mm -hmm. thought, gosh, Craig, that's really nice of you to say that. <laughs> But you did have a nice time <laughs> to the point that you sent Jack all over town looking for yeah. Ham's beer because we bonded I on sent, the air. I said because uh, Jack works with me in my office and runs my production company, 10 to 6, this kind of thing. And I said, Jack, find Ham's beer for Mr. Kilborn now. And so we spent all day looking for it. And there you go. So she, and, he, he and you have to thank Jack, actually. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. Oh, you're welcome. He <laughs> Does Jack, I just want to ask you something. Does Jack, um, does he ever soften what you say sometimes? Do you, have you ever angry, like with guys, if guys were hitting on you? I know when you were single, you had a lot of guys hitting on you. I'm sure you still do, but let's not get into that. How does Jack, how does this thing with Jack work? Well, um, I mean, there was one guy, a very, probably a very well-known bachelor before he got married, What's happily his, married. What's his name? Uh, multiple can't. children, no names. Okay, no, no that's names. good. I respect. No that. names. I want to keep my career. Okay, and uh, whatever career that is, um, and um, he wanted to take me out. This and... is before you're married. Yeah, of so, course. Thank what do you. you think? That's good. Okay. And um, he um, he wanted um, to give him my for me to give my phone number. And so while I was talking to Jack in sign language to tell him what my phone number was, I said in sign. Don't give him my damn phone number. Just I... fix it. And Jack said, uh, yes, his number, her number is 312-555-1212 and I... uh, gave him an altogether wrong number. Oh. I, I use Jack all the time for that kind of stuff. 
That's that's pretty good then. He's smart that way. You gave him the wrong number, right? Yeah, well, absolutely. That's smart. That's sure. smart. I mean, I never heard from him, so obviously right. I did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you, uh, a few years ago, I, I like that. A few years ago, <laughs> I, I'm always fascinated with this. You sang the anthem a few years ago. You signed the yeah. anthem at the Super Bowl. I did. It was the Super Bowl with Garth Brooks. And almost no Garth Brooks because for some reason they wanted to put me, whatever NBC had going on, they wanted to put me in a little circle as opposed to being signed. Oh, NBC is like that. What is up with NBC? <laughs> CBS would not do that. They put you on stage, baby. What are they thinking? Anyway, what happened was is that Jack overheard what this executive was saying and signed it to me across the stadium. And he didn't know that Jack was listening. And so then I told, Jack told me and I told Garth Brooks. Yeah. And then Garth Brooks went over to them and said, uh, I understand you want to put Marley in a circle. Change it. And so there you so go. Th so we like Garth. Yeah. yeah. Garth helped you out. But you know what's funny? What's funny? What's funny? It almost didn't happen anyway because for some whatever reason, they came up to me because he didn't want to do it. He left, and they said, you're on your own, Marley. You're yeah. going to sing the national anthem. I think, wait, wait a minute, deaf woman singing the national anthem at the Super Bowl? <laughs> it's not going to work. Yeah. And I said, Jack, can you sing? And I said, no. And no. Uh, Garth showed up at the last minute, five seconds, and there we go. Woo. We did it. Yeah, I That's was good. Fan. Is it tough hitting the high notes? What was that? Is it tough hitting the high notes in the anthem? I, I can't hear you. Oh, I didn't okay. Hear what you said. Right over here. <laughs> Is it tough hitting the high notes in the anthem when you're signing? I'm it was signing a, high notes. It was a joke about three minutes ago, but I didn't do it. <laughs> Stay with us. Five questions when we come back. We'll back. guys aren't they great you they're... got the best crowds in i know Hollywood. they're standing come on standing in, ovation in, again come on guys there we go we're running out of time it's time for five questions This was going to be a callback from er earlier in the show, but I did not call this person. He gave me my start in television. He now owns a newspaper. What central California resort town is home of the newspaper called The Pine Cone? You should probably not know this because I was going to mention it in the show, but I didn't. So this is just... Jackson? In, Cal in Cal uh, central California, ne near Pebble Beach. It's very difficult. Monterey? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm going to give it to you. It's Carmel. Carmel Pine Cone. I called, I, instead I called the palm. Name three other celebrities living or dead with your initials, M.M. Three other celebrities. Marilyn Monroe. That's one. Need... Um, 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 uh, oh, oops, um, uh, Mickey Mantle. Mickey Mantle, very good. One more. And, um, Marilyn Manson. No! I think that's who got my thank you. I think that's who got my thank you for the Ham's beer. I sent him, I sent him some scented candles and a, and a loofah. I, that's maybe who I sent it. I got you mixed up. Okay. It's time to play the match game. It's time to play the match game. Ready? Wait a second. Wait a second. Green blank. Green blank. Boogers. What? Jello. We can't accept that. Within, uh, within five, how many Emmys has this show won over the last seven years? Within five. This show, how many Emmys have we won? Within five. This show? This, this show, show, Late Late Show. <laughs> the Late Late Show. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Uh... It doesn't hurt my feelings. You get it right, I'm happy. Zero? That is correct! I'm really going to put you on the spot. Uh, I understand you do great impressions, OK? Can you do an impression for us right now? <laughs> uh, well, actually, um, 
Jack and I met um, what a, a few years ago. Uh, Betty Davis. Oh, Betty Davis. Betty Davis. And uh, when I went up to her and said, hello, I'm Marley Matlin, and it's nice to meet you. And she looked at Jack because he was saying my words with Jack interpreting for me, and she couldn't figure it out. And then finally she said, oh, that's the deaf actress from that deaf movie. <laughs> that's great. Very good, Jack. <laughs> Betty. Will <laughs> Jack. Betty Davis. Uh, West Wing is on Wednesdays on NBC. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Marley Matlin, we'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you. is best known as Dr. Evil's nice son, Scott, from the Austin Power movie. These days, he can be heard as the voice of slacker teen Chris Griffin in the Fox animated series, Family Guy. I got a hangnail, hangnail. hanging from my cuticle. A hangnail. hangnail, it ain't beautiful. It hurts like a bitch that I did last night. Hey, Chris, what you doing? Just laying back in the cut, peeping at this here homie. Yo, pop me in some cheddar. Some player haters be throwing salt in my game, grilling me over my gear. Not needs to be Mac in style. Well, uh, the important thing is you tried, son. Please welcome Seth Green right here. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Nice to see you too. There was, there was. <laughs> Woo. I love that. All right. Um, <laughs> there was a rumor that you you passed away. Oh yeah. Okay. Did, yeah. Explain that to these guys. <laughs> well, I, no, I did a I did a commercial like uh, forever ago for a restaurant called Rallies. It was really big in the Midwest and. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. So that's what happens. Whenever, whenever people, you do something that becomes a sensation, it ultimately becomes annoying, and then people start talking about how you died. And well, what did they say? You, you did a commercial and you died doing the commercial? Or no, what? no, no. It was far more uh, ambitious than that. They said, uh, they said, "Oh yeah, you know the chain guy." So I didn't have a name. They said, uh, "Oh, the chain guy." The cha ching guy. Oh, yeah. the cha ching guy. The cha ching yeah. guy. They said the the cha ching guy made so much money off of that that regional, you know, uh, commercial. commercial. Yeah that I, he got a Ferrari or something and got really drunk with a prostitute and drove off Mulholland. And... That was the rumor? That was, that was one of many. I died like nine different ways. And... None of that is true, at least driving off Mulholland. No, 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 that's true. None of it's true. Yeah, I got my Ferrari parked outside. Right, right, right. <laughs> um, I like the voice in that show, uh, the Fox, uh, the family. Oh, guy. yeah, yeah, which is, is premiere. The season premiere is tomorrow, by the really? way. So, uh... It's the third season. It is the third season. Yeah, they, they actually, the show actually won an Emmy. Actually won two Emmys, but, um, you know. I know, I, you know, you got nothing else to watch on Thursday nights. So. Yeah. What, check, out, uh, check out Family. How'd you come up with the voice? It was a joke. It was a joke. My friend uh, Charlie and I were talking about uh, Ted Levine, the guy that played Buffalo Bill in Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we thought, gosh, that guy's got it, got it rough because he's a really good dramatic actor, but his voice is so distinctive. Uh -huh. You see him in ev every movie, and that's all you think about, you know? Right. He was in Heat. Did you ever see Heat? Y no. Remember least... that? The... I know the movie. I didn't see it. I know the movie. Right. He plays a cop in Heat. He's talking to Al Pacino at one point. He's like, yeah, you know, these guys are pros. They're going to hit right through here with the guns. And you're just like... <laughs> that's odd, right? Well, he's a good dramatic. And so I was joking with my friend. I was like, well, what if I just went in there and did that voice, wouldn't that, yeah. wouldn't that just get a job? And it did, so. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, <clears throat> what's Greg the Bunny? Greg the Bunny. Oh, Greg the Bunny. Yeah, Greg the Bunny was something that, uh, that uh, Dan Milano and Spencer Chenoy started on the, they started as a public access thing, and then they got picked up by the Independent Film Channel, and then 
Fox threw a bunch of money at him and said, hey, make a show. So it just goes to show you, screw around with your video camera, maybe somebody will give you a series. Right. And you're, and you're, it's a sitcom, mid-season replacement that you're in. Yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's like Roger Rabbit. That's the best way to describe it, where the cartoons are alive and real and have pathos and ex-wives and stuff. And, oh, wow. Except it's, except it's puppets, so it's like a Larry Sanders of the Muppet show. Okay. And all of the... <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great time. And, and, it's, and it's your voice, or are you on camera? No, I'm a guy in it. Just me yeah. and a, me and a bunch of puppets. And uh, Eugene Levy and oh, uh, Bob funny, Gunton yeah. and Sarah Silverman and right. Dina Waters. It's a great, it's a great show. You couldn't get Saget, could you? No, no. <laughs> I, I was on the phone, you know. <laughs> it wasn't happening. Um, any update on Austin Powers 3? Uh, you know, they're doing it, and we're talking, and... Uh... They can't get Seth Green. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. <laughs> They, uh, they, gave, they gave all that threequel money to uh, Vern Troyer, so they're like, we got, we got some McDonald's coupons if you want them, and I'm like, that's funny. I'll um, think about it. So they said, uh, they said that you wanted to play, we might not be able to do the short jokes because we had to play five questions. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, how did I get saddled with the responsibility for that? Is, you, is there a joke that, is there, they, they, you liked one short joke, is that what they said? Oh, no, I just said this, uh, the one time that anybody actually made me laugh. You take personally great offense to that kind of thing. No, this uh, this kid, uh, John Wooten, that I went to school with, uh, actually made me laugh because he was like, Seth, you're so short. You sit on the curb and swing your legs. And I... That's funny. That's pretty That's good. good. That's good. Yeah. But you want to do, uh, you want to play five questions. Oh, yeah, I like the Because the questions. second guests don't always get it, but if you're a big fan, we're giving you five questions for Seth. Yeah. Yeah. Geography, what state's name literally translated means Green Mountain? Uh, huh. It's a state. Is it's it? State. Yeah, let's see, there's 50 of them. Uh, Green Mountain, yeah. Montana? Verde Mountain, Vermont. That's oh, a tough Vermont. one. That's oh, a tough yeah. one. <laughs> uh, the CMAs, the CMAs, Country Music Awards, are on CBS tonight. In my yes. opinion, what is the greatest country western variety show of all time? Hee Haw. It's good. Not, yeah. That's a good show. It's not debatable, yeah. <laughs> uh, 20 seconds on the clock, give you plenty of time. Name two famous people that you're taller than. Uh, Billy Barty and uh, Vern Troy. There you go. Yeah. We've done this one before. No one's gotten this. Uh, I've written down the most decadent pasta sauce I can think of. What is it? Decadent? Yeah. Rich. Fatty. Alfredo? Hey. I beat Kathy Ireland. Yeah, there All you right. go. There you go. <laughs> uh, finally, you have a knack for making uh, creepy characters endearing. Do I? That's what they say. Great. Isn't that great? <laughs> Look into the camera and tell the girl you picked up uh, that she's got to go home now, but make it endearing. How would you handle uh, that? Hey, listen. Uh, I know I promised you a ride, but uh, you know I got a girlfriend, and uh, this this ain't gonna fly. So I gotta let you go. I'm sorry. That's nice. That was nice. Her down. Yeah. Family Guy, Fox, uh, tomorrow night, Thursday night. Big hand for Seth Green. <laughs>